So here we have two constant vectors, the unit vector i cap and j cap. And we have a vector function r vector, which is given by the hyperbolic sine function of t i cap plus the hyperbolic cosine function of t j cap, where t is a scalar variable. We need to show that the second derivative of our vector function r is equal to the vector function r itself. So let's begin. So we will begin with our vector function r, which is a function of the scalar variable t. So that is given by the sine hyperbolic of t. This is the x component plus the cosine hyperbolic t. So this is the y component. Now we'll take the derivative with respect to t on both sides. Now for the right hand side here, since i cap and j cap are constant vectors, that would mean that the derivative of the unit vector i cap with respect to t is equal to zero. The same goes for the unit vector j cap when we take its derivative with respect to t that's equals to zero. Now we have to take the derivative of the sine hyperbolic function. We know that the derivative of the sine hyperbolic function gives us cosine hyperbolic t. So that's the x component. For the y component, we have cosine hyperbolic t. Its derivative will be simply sine hyperbolic t. So this is j cap. Let's again take the derivative on both sides with respect to t. So on the left hand side, we have the second derivative of our vector r. Then this is equals to, we'll take the derivative of dr over dt. So we'll begin by taking the derivative of the cosine hyperbolic of t. So that will be sine hyperbolic of t. i cap plus derivative of the sine hyperbolic of t will give us cosine hyperbolic t j cap. So now we see that this is exactly our function, the vector function r. So we can replace this with r vector. So this proves that that means whenever we take the second derivative of our vector function r, provided the r of our vector is given by sine hyperbolic t i cap plus cosine hyperbolic t j cap, then this is going to give back the vector function r. Hence, 